No children are born with instruction manuals, so everyone needs a little help. Our mission and vision is all about preventing child maltreatment. The Children's Trust Fund provides funding for nonprofits and other entities for prevention of child abuse and neglect throughout the state of Alabama. The parenting class is really just helpful information for any parent. We talk about stages of development, communication with your children, how discipline and punishment are two different things, and sometimes it's not even discipline or punishment, but just how to redirect misbehavior. It just means a lot to me for these women, these teachers, to actually help me become a better parent. It works from the holistic approach with a family, and so we're not just doing one thing, but we can really get in there and get to the root of issues. They don't feel judged, and that's the good thing about this with the fatherhood program, that they feel that there's somewhere that they can go to. If you think of that statistic of 25 million kids in America living without their biological fathers, this program can help make a dent in that. We're real pleased that those programs are in very diverse settings. We're in correctional facilities, we're in community colleges, we're in family resource centers, and that's just to name a few. We have fathers who may not have custody of their children, who don't live with their kids, but through this program and through the conversations that we have, we show them the importance of being involved with their children. Both fathers and mothers are invited and welcome to come to the class. This program helps them to learn how to co-parent so they can build a healthy relationship because it's all about the child. Children's brains are about 95% fully developed by the time they're five, so that if we can get in on those early years and teach parents about child development and teach parents how to become better parents, then these children have a much better chance of growing up to be healthy, happy, productive citizens in the state. That's our goal. Research shows that a child who participates in a home visitation program is more school ready when they reach age five and attend school. We use a research-based curriculum and we take information on growth and development to the moms depending on the child's age, take age-appropriate activities, and talk to the moms about developmentally what they should expect would be happening with their child at that particular age. At home, you feel more comfortable because maybe because you're in your own environment. We get a lot of referrals from DHR, just having lack of support, lack of connection to transportation, lack of connection to the community resources that they maybe don't even know about. Lots of things that have kept people from being consistent in an employment environment has been just the mindset of not knowing how to deal with conflict, not knowing how to communicate effectively. So changing those patterns, changing those thought patterns is really key into helping them be successful parents. And so we also do a women's group on Wednesdays, fellowship basically. They have a lot of fun in the beginning and then they learn a skill at the end. Once you open up and talk, you know, it eases away. So I really like it. In addition to providing the parenting component, in that same context, we're able to help women address depression, anxiety, trauma related to a history of abuse as a child. You just have to be willing to like take the help from people because I always used to not want to take help from people because I was so used to doing it on my own. So when you sit down and you have people that care and they're taking their time out, you know, to want to do this and help you. By being able to have those comprehensive services for women who otherwise wouldn't be able to access therapy, then I think that's one of the really special things that, because of the Children's Trust Fund, that we're allowed to continue to provide in our community. Children with disabilities are at increased risk for abuse and neglect. So the HEARTS program provides respite for families of children with disabilities, and it allows families to take a break from their stressful daily routine. I work from home. I have a daughter on the autism spectrum. A lot of time for respite, I use those times to have someone to help me with them so that I can work. Life is a lot less stressful at home now thanks to them. The HEARTS program not only provides stress relief for families, but it also increases protective factors. And research shows that protective factors when present in families decreases the risk of child abuse and neglect. We have programs throughout the state of Alabama, and there are programs in every one of the seven congressional districts. For the children themselves, after-school programs teaches anti-bullying, and it also teaches them life skills. Some of the programs are mentoring programs that are either in the schools or are community-based. 
The mentoring program initially started as a program where we would mentor children who had incarcerated parents. The program expanded to any child who had been impacted by incarceration. Then we also expanded to work with any child who had been affected by any form of disability. I think being a mentor is important because it's a lot of children who don't have positive role models to look up to. You can change their mindset, show them that they do have options out there. I want to be just like her. She graduated from college, and I want to graduate from college. The way that society is and the way that our communities look today, there can never be too many positive people in a child's life. The one thing that we try to do is prevent child abuse and neglect. So in other words, we try to stop it before it happens. There's not a shortage of clients that need help. And when you see a child's life saved that was being abused and neglected, it pushes you to keep going and save another, and save another, and save another. Funding for CTF to me is critical, and I think that whatever we can do as members of the state of Alabama, that we can rally around the Children's Trust Fund to help support them, they in turn will then help everybody else within the state.